This is tutorial number 34, and it covers how to use the visible space feature within CATIA v5. To start off, open up uh, tutorial part 6c, which is located on the DVD. Now in the last tutorial, what I showed you was how to use the hide and show, and in this one I'm going to show you how to swap visible space and how to use your visible space. Now, in the last one we were hiding some of the components, but really, where are those components going? And where that is, is in the other space. So if you click Swap Visible Space, you get another space that shows what is not shown to your face in the uh, other space. So everything that is hidden, so you might find sketches, uh, work planes, and whatnot. And it'll also be the parts. So right now, let's hide this part. And if we go back, now they're in this space here. So we can hide the entire part and it'll be in our visible in our other visible space. So swapping between the two allows you to see what's been hidden and what's been shown. So let's show these guys again. And you can see that we also brought over these lines here. So we can hide them and then they're going to go into this visible space and we can bring everything. If we select everything in here, swap it, So let's bring in each one, one by one. Now we have all the drawings that made up this, these parts and these assemblies. So when you're hiding stuff, you're able to go back and see what's in your uh, visible space. Now, when you get into very complicated parts, uh, especially when you're doing surfacing too, your visible space is probably going to be more action, more stuff in there than uh, when you swap your visible space. This space here, your what's invisible is going to be larger than what's going to be in your visible space because it takes a lot of uh, components and geometry to put together your part. So this is a really important tool as you're able to uh, toggle back and forth by toggling stuff on and off and you're able to see where the stuff that you toggled on and off where it goes. So it helps you uh, create your part and it helps you know that hey I lost this part where did I put it you can swap space and you can be like oh yes I hit it so let's unhide it and you can bring it back so that's just an introduction to the visible space and in the next few tutorials uh, you're gonna be seeing how we're gonna be applying this visible space uh, not just to uh, assemblies or just to products but also uh, sketches so you're going to see kind of like a first-hand use of how we're going to be using this and utilizing this tool. And that concludes our tutorial on how to use the uh, visible space feature within CATIA v5.